No, if, uh, if there was a cookbook, how to fight corruption, I think uh, we would have cooked the meal and it would have been done. So there, there's not a magic recipe. But there are certain basics that are across the world are very similar. Uh, we know that the more transparency you have in public affairs, the less opportunity there is for corruption. We know that the more you hold leaders to account, the less they are likely to engage in corruption. And we know that the more you foster integrity in systems, whether in governance or in business or in NGOs, the better those function, the more effective they become and the less opportunities there are for corruption. So those are, are things that are universally true. Arguably, the biggest change in the last five years in the fight against corruption is that ordinary people across the world today say no to corruption. If you think the 20 biggest public uprisings across the world in the last year, you think of Brazil, you think of uh, Romania, you think of South Africa, you think of Moldova, you think of Guatemala, Malaysia, all of them have one thing in common, people have had enough of corruption. And this demand for accountability from ordinary people, that indeed is a very big game changer. But it has to be accompanied with the public policies that foster that. And that's why there's not a recipe book, but there are surely things that one can see across the world that, that is common.